Hey everybody, it's me, LaRasha. So, um, I was just sitting here going back and forth, well really not back and forth with myself, but my ancestors started talking to me. I had some dreams last night, so it's some things that I need to say because like I tell everybody on my Facebook, we only have four months. And what I mean by four months, um, if you are aware in the Bible, it said that God said that his children will be um, in you know slavery for four th for 400 years and that 400 years if you reflect back to the bible that ends in 2019 so that's four months from here um so a lot of people know that like i said in my previous video that there's a lot of things that's happening you can feel like something seems to change um, a lot of people are coming more aware and consciously awoke um and they're able to see you know the illusions that was um put in you know throughout their life they're they're able to see and block them out and see the real reality and the real truth of the situation of what's really going on so i'm sitting here and you know mercury retrograde that's another thing that i'm going to talk about in this video because like i said four months we only have four months so i'm going to have to push out as much information as possible i have already been alerted that when people were trying to share my videos that they were not able to share it so like i did state on the first video because of what they were doing to who? Dang Calloway. So like I said, if they are messing with people's videos, it's for a reason. Is because we are putting information out there that they don't want other people to hear. Okay? So y'all need to pay attention. You really need to really stay focused and really um, pay attention to what's going on. Because they're still trying to make you live in an illusion. Okay? This fantasy, this made up make-believe world and have all this stuff going on in the background and y'all are not aware of it then they're gonna say surprise <laughs> and they're gonna change they're gonna uh awake your ass to something that you didn't know was possible okay so let me slow down um but like i said i was uh had a dream mercury retrograde just ended on the 18th Mercury retrograde is something that happens three times a year and it's from a long period of time like a month and a half and this is what they call when it comes to you know cosmos and all that stuff one thing about Manelan people they said that our ancestors was always what in touch with the cosmos so you know all the stuff that has to do with Saturn and Jupiter and Earth and all that shit our our ancestors were in you know very um a well aware of what that was and how it really worked um if you can see the goddess newt n-u-t if you see her you see her body stretching across everybody else that was below her um and that's another thing that i want to talk about the dome that we're in she was just that's basically her letting them us know that we were in a dome. And if you don't know about this dome, then you just need to watch it. You need to watch a movie called Geostorm because this stuff is real. Regardless how, uh, uh, how, how stupid you want to be, that's what I want to say. I'm not going to sit here and put any more uh, big words to stupid because that everybody understands what that, that word means. So I'm going to just say s simple words to make you understand um, because... I know a lot of people, I'm I'm not going to be on this channel, I'm not going to be sugarcoat shit, pretty much. So, as, as stupid as you want to be to continue to believe that nothing, and I'm not even going to use the word believe, because believe is another word that they need, they said that we need to take out of our vocabulary, and I'm going to say this on this video too, believe, blessed, and nigga. And I'm stressing, and those are the three things that has been the hardest thing for me to remove from my vocabulary. And just do your research about those three words, and then you'll understand how it actually kept, especially Manelan people, uh, stuck. So that just popped in my head, and that was one of my ancestors talking. So let me let me just um, talk um, real quick. They made me jump to something else. But Mercury Retrograde. Make sure that y'all start studying exactly what that stuff is because Mercury retrograde, when they say that that comes into place, like I said, it comes three times a year and it just basically, it stops like everything that you were trying to move forward. Let's say if you were trying to build a business or you're trying to fix your relationship and then when Mercury retrograde comes around, it like puts everything in standstill, okay? Like puts you on stuck mode. 
So then you'll start seeing all this shit stop happening in your life. All these people that you don't, um, you were never, uh, you know, talking to before. Or all this turmoil starts happening into your life. It's like everything starts falling. Uh, your whole life starts falling apart. And Mercury retrograde just ended on the 18th. And I tell uh, my people that's like subscribe to my um, other channel that I have. Um, I tell them that they have a shadow period as well as people on my Facebook, a shadow period for a week to get all that energy out. If you understand the energy thing, this is something new. If you see the movies, like every, another thing, every movie, every TV show, it all has hidden messages. It all has some type of messages that is trying to tell you what's going on today okay what's going on in your world but a lot of people don't realize that until once you wake up and then you just like you start watching all these movies that do you know how many movies that i have watched that when i was a child back in the 80s and then i sit there and watch those movies now and i see the shit that like what's going on now and i'm just like how did that how did that skip by like how did i go that go unnoticed to me this whole time and especially when it comes to the Egyptians, that's what they call them now, but I'm going to say the Unnaki, okay? Um, when it comes to them, do you, do you, when it comes to them, do you know how, how much money the elite has made off of our ancestor stuff? And you sit here and you watch all these movies, and then when I went to that Keen Tut exhibit, that just... It was exciting, but at the same time, it pissed me off <laughs> because I'm just sitting here. Here you are pulling up my ancestors out of the ground and then you making profit off of it, homeboy. How does that feel? And regardless of who, what color you are, you would never want somebody to dig your ancestors up out of the ground and then make profit off of it. And then you not to see any of this money. It's not even about the money. It's just the fact that that is, you don't do that. And it was just, to me, it was just like, yes, it was fascinating to see it, but it's just like, after you see these movies, like Black Panther, you know, the Da Vinci Code, and I'm throwing movies out, I'm going to throw movies out that I very highly recommend. I highly recommend people watching The Mummy, go back and watch those. I highly recommend people go back and watch Big Trouble in Chinatown, that I highly recommend people to go watch the first Transformers. I highly recommend people to go, go watch the Wedding Ringer and uh, listen to the the white boy say, you know, when he's drunk, him saying, you know, um, you know something that uh, the Pharaohs is built, uh, uh, the Pharaohs home is built on top of the uh, uh, the Hoover's Dam. There's nothing but Pharaohs underneath there. They are giving us hitting messages and i'm talking about that right now because especially if you are african-american you shouldn't be worried about what's in africa you should be wanting to know what's in the united states that these people hid from you why are you worried about africa for you have never been to africa half of y'all a lot of us ain't even gonna touch africa unless they deport our ass over there like they are putting those hidden codes inside of them laws like they trying to do now so if this video does not get upload it like i said it's because i am dropping a lot of bombs and y'all better pay attention and y'all better write it down real quick because like i said this means we don't have that much time i said four months and with all the stuff that's going on like i said when you wake up you see how they were manipulating uh time tumor Raider, that movie with angelica jolie go watch all the tumor Raiders, and then t tap into the other side of the spiritual aspects of the church folks that want to stay in the church and just listen to what your pastor's saying while he taking your money getting rich and then giving his money to the rest of the money to the vatican they already announced like the stuff about church and i don't understand why people still stuck in that and it's just crazy to me like that that saying that Corey Ho holcomb said he said uh christianity like I, i'm gonna put it on here but because i don't want to quote him right and i'm gonna just put it on this slide so y'all can see what i'm saying like people don't realize that religion especially for our manelan people it keeps us stuck that was the whole reason why they created it was to keep us stuck and make us forget who we are and cause us to remove re to to not realize what's going on we have all these illusions pu uh, pumped in our head because we worship in something that is not was never meant for us it was to put to keep us at a, a lower position than them but 
I'm, I'm speaking real to you and I'm saying this now because like I said, I don't have, we don't have a lot of time. A lot of stuff is supposed to start changing and y'all just are not going to be, y'all are not going to be well aware of the changes because it's going to happen so fast. Another thing that I want to mention and I want y'all to do research, um, the Pope had just on the 18th in the Mercury retrograde, y'all hear what I'm saying? Everything is tied. Holidays, all these holidays that we celebrate, it's tied to their system that they use to control us so uh, i just need y'all to pay attention to that too because if y'all step step outside of the bible and you start learning this other shit that they said for you not to learn because they wanted to keep you dumbed down then you will start really realizing the game that we've been playing it's just like a the monopoly the, the monopoly board the game that they gave us hmm, let me put it to this the monopoly board you know they have the the man with all the money that's going around and buying everybody's property. Don't care. Don't care if you're happy with your home or where you live or don't care about nothing. Buy your property. Get out of free jail pass for free. Don't that sound like what the life that we living in now? If you start going back and I said African Americans... And on this channel, I am going to, I'm going to say this right now. I am touching and I am um, going to be speaking to specific, a specific race for a reason. So because of who I am and this is me, so I'm not fenced to hide and sugarcoat who I am. And I know why I built this channel because it was to, to, to target a specific race. But at the same time, like I said, I'm not stupid and I'm not going to paint this picture to think that we can only do it ourselves. No, it's going to take all the other races to understand exactly what's going on. And now at this time, yeah, before it has always been about race, but now it's not going to be about race. It's going to be about good and evil. Because they switched up the game and they caused all this shit to happen. So now it's not about race. They can't no longer get about race because now, you know, so many uh, interracial relationships and all this other stuff. You know, everybody is tired at the end of the day. We're tired. We're, we're, we're tired of the violence. We're tired of seeing all this killing. We're tired of that. The majority of us are tired of that. And they know that. So my thing is that it takes all of us to unite, okay? This is where Martin Luther King's... I have a dream comes in. That was a prophecy that he was seeing. Okay. It was not right then and there. It the, the prophecy is now like the Bible. When you start sitting here and you learn about the Bible and you start reading about it, you start realizing the Bible, Bible is a prophecy. All that shit didn't happen last a long time ago. Some of it did, but the majority of it read revelations mm -hmm. for you church folks. Read revelations. They keep revelations out of the church for a reason. <laughs> and I'm going to say it again, read revelations and then read and realize another thing I want to talk about. I'm going to put another quote on here that I want the African Americans that's in the United States to pay attention to in the Bible. God says, I know what has happened to the uh, children of the land, the land of milk and honey. Who is the land of milk and honey? And I'll wait on it. Who is the land of milk and honey? Uh, ding, 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 ding. United States? It ain't Africa. So that's why I said, why are you paying attention to what happened in Africa or what's going on in Africa when you ain't even paying attention to what's in the United States? You don't even know what's here. Y'all don't even know what's in the Grand Canyon. There's a reason why they don't want us in the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon breaks everything down. The Grand Canyon breaks everything. And they don't want us in there for a reason. Y'all need to pay attention. They don't want us in there for a reason. They have that shit uh, uh, boarded up for a reason. Do you know how many people that have attempted to try to get into Grand Canyon? There's so many people that's uploading their videos on YouTube. A lot of people say, I don't like watching YouTube. You should. You should. And I'm going to tell you the reason why on this video. Because guess what? The people that control us, the elite... They control everything, every two, every news station, every radio station, every entertainment business, everything. So they only going to show you what they want you to, to hear. So if when, when people come to us like this and have conversations and you try to go to the radio station or the news station and all this stuff, y'all need to pay attention to the to the um, 
the history of the news stations. Go back that far. And then you'll start understanding like the movie Scream and all that stuff. All those stuff, that stuff is hidden messages. Like, and I, I need to go back and watch that movie. So I said it for a reason. So, but I'm understanding because there, uh, something just popped in my head about the movie Scream. So go watch these movies on top of that like i was saying they don't want us in there for a reason when you start doing all this research and these and and this is the crazy thing about us as black people we don't we they have programmed us to not believe anything we don't want to believe anything because we have been so mistreated you know, all our lives regardless of what people say and how they believe uh, see how people think we have always been treated a certain way outside of any other race okay so my thing is is that when people of caucasian european all these other races start telling on one each other one another it's time for you to sit there and start and pay attention you because you're missing something you're missing something and if if they telling that there's all this in the grand canyon and even the indian said it a long time ago and y'all ain't even understanding the game. Once you, they got you believing that you African American when you really an American Indian. They don't want you to remember who you are. The Indians, what? Guided the Arizona very well. They secured it. So how are you going to sit there and knock is, and, and deny the information that the Indians tribes are telling you that was in the Grand Canyon? This is why people get on my post and say, you don't know if you're European, uh, you don't know if you Egyptian, you don't know if you African, you don't know if you Indian. So the, the person that said that, actually, I know what I am. I am Unnaki at the end of the day, because that's what all of them are. It's just that our the imposer gave us all different names to keep us divided, to lose, for us to not be in touch with who we were as an individual. Like, so when God said, know thyself, that was a part of their game to help us not remember who we were. Give us names to help us forget our reality of who we were inside. So that's the question that I will rebuttal back to you, the girl that left the post, the left the comment on my post off of my first video. So I'm not even gonna play with nobody no more. <laughs> like I said, I told you I'm coming here with a purpose. This is what I was destined to do, and I'm doing it. And I already see the roadblocks that I am already have. I already see that they're already messing with my stuff. But guess what? I'm not going to stop. <laughs> I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep going. So my thing is, um, it's time for us as all races to come together. If we're going to go by what Martin Luther King say and the ones that say it's not about race, okay, then help us work together and help us put push out this information because like i said there's other right ra the other races outside of the manelian people once you learn your history like i said in the first video that's it's that's a lot to take in regardless of what situation who we are this is a lot to take in and i have people that come and hit up my inboxes every day and they're like man what's going on and why why is this happening and now i'm questioning everything because i read the bible from front to back and you know back front to be and it's just not making sense and now it don't it don't make sense to me and now you know i sit here and i see what you say on your post and I'm like, okay, I see the game that we in. And I'm not saying this to game no fame. I'm not saying this to do any of that. This is me. This is my purpose. And like I said, the people that have been close to me know I have woke up to this. And it's happening in front of our eyes. What I was going to say about uh, the Pope and Putin, the Russia guy, Putin, the one that runs that country over there. The beginning of this year, he announced that the U.S. needed to uh, tell the truth about aliens being real. And he said that, and if they didn't do it, he was going to expose it, okay? So keep in mind, aliens, okay? Anaki are what? Aliens, okay? So we're going to get on another subject with that because I wanted to do that as a whole nother, a whole nother video by itself about the Anaki, about Lucifer, who Lucifer was, you know, all this stuff, I, I want to touch that on another video, but I am going to say this now because I need y'all to catch what's going on. But Putin, um, in the beginning of this year, announced that the United States needed to go ahead and tell the truth about aliens. 
So if you also start getting into that side, um, you have known that they have told, you know, made movies about aliens all, since, since the beginning, you know, and have always showed us this. And then you also, if you do research and you also, the more people that you'll be around, especially when it comes to Caucasians, um, a lot of them tell you that they have been abducted by aliens, okay? Um, you don't know how many friends that I have that can sit here, even their kids, okay? So my thing is like, and then if it's... Uh, this is shit that I don't go looking for. It just pops in my face. And this is where I'm saying it gets put in my face over and over and over and over. And I end up getting these relationships with all these different people because they help me uh, realize my purpose and put everything together. Because they everybody has, human, uh, everybody has um, a soul tribe. We're all connected as one, if they want to say. If we're, we're all connected as one, but you also have certain people that are extremely a part of your soul tribe and this is where you as a american indian need to go back and learn your history of who the american indians are and what the indians was about and stop worrying about africa because you you you're missing the whole point of who you are you are in the united states you need to understand what's in the united states if i'm telling you that there's some big shit that's in the grand canyon that these people there's a reason why you can't get in there so let me just tell you some stuff about these stories about these people that have been trying to get in the grand canyon to how to see all this stuff they get first it's oh okay um there's a waiting list um it's a four month waiting list i want to say 33 months to four month waiting list you have to reserve it first and then you have this long application where you have to have all these hiker guidelines of you have to have these type of hiker abilities to get up in there they say that and then then when you get there, the lady, the one of the girls said on her video when she she got when she was trying to get there, they told her she was like, "Well, I want to go see um, ISIS, which is a set, okay, okay, uh, ISIS and a set is the same person, okay." So when we when we when she was trying to go and see their her their tomb, they told her that. Um, there was a fire that broke out. And so what happened with the fire, they, she, they had to board it up and it's been boarded up since then. So you can't get in it. Excuse me. What? But, but in the wedding planner and then also in other videos, and also it tells you 1909 was a good year. <laughs> I'm saying that, but 1907 is when they found ISIS's temple. 1909 is when they start building over it. The Hoover Dam is on top of Isis's temple. In the movie The Wedding of uh, Wedding Ringer, he states that there is a pharaoh's layer of pharaohs built on top of the Hoover Dam that was this Isis's temple, okay? So in the Grand Canyon, okay? And I put this shit out on my Facebook for a reason. And not even theirs, Isis, you know, Osiris's, even uh, Seth, you know, and even Buddha. Hmm. And Buddha was supposed to be from where? Hmm. And I said, y'all need to go back and watch that movie. What? Big Trouble in Chinatown? Hmm. And they're going to say China is where and where? Huh. Okay, so I I'm just giving y'all some hidden messages. I'm going to drop some bombs in here myself. So... I'm just excited y'all to do this because now I see, you know, I was afraid they have always taught us to fear, you know, fear everything. Since you were a Bible, you go to church and you have to fear, you know, your parents, you have to fear adults. But, you know, as a child, they say you are the closest to God, right? You are the, cl when you were a child, you are the closest to God. So another thing I want to touch on that with the shot thing, us giving them the, the shots, when they're babies and stuff, all the chemicals that these di uh, uh, jackal and high doctors in these uh, big uh, colleges like Yale and Harvard and, you know, those big ones like that, they have these Dr. Jekyll and Hyde scientists that come up with these diseases and all this stuff. And this is all proven fact. People have been sued and had lawsuits behind this shit. But like I said, when you are um, the elite controls everything, they're not going to show you everything. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. 
things that's hidden in plain sight, you have to pay attention. Um, so we're going to get back into this, but just know they already messing with my stuff and I already knew that. So I will possibly just be going live on all my other um, videos. So my thing for the people that's watching this video, please share my video. And if they don't allow you to share it, just click copy the link, go in there and copy the link, go to share, copy the link, and then post it on your Facebook or share it to any social media. Because like I said, we need to all start coming together on this channel. I want to be able to have a discussion with the uh, you know the my viewers and talk about different things as well um and i just believe that word like i said this the channel of this video is called build a nation by word of mouth and i really believe like i said us as being who we are our words um that we give to each other um helps us develop um and reunite as one and that's for what all race um, so thank you again for taking time. You will see me soon. Peace.